Hey, this is Ben Freer, and I wanted to record just a quick introduction to this video that you're about to watch. In the video, I share the eligibility period for the E2 visa. Now you would think that the E2 visa validity period would be the same regardless of what country you're from. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So this video will show you the current validity period for the E2 visa that corresponds with your country of nationality. All of this information that I'm about to talk about can also be found in the State Department's Visa Reciprocity Schedule. If you want more information on the Visa Reciprocity Schedule, you can check out the video that I made on that topic. In addition to sharing the validity period, I also mention the countries that have limits on E2 visa entries. Now, if you don't see anything on the video that mentions the entries, for your particular country of nationality, that means that your country doesn't have any limits. The E2 visa for nationals of your country is good for multiple entries. Another thing that is important to mention is that the E2 visa validity period has no relation to your authorized period of stay in the United States in E2 status. Each time you enter the United States using your E2 visa, you get two years of status even if your visa expires, say, in one or three months. So, for example, Egyptian nationals get E2 visas that are valid for only a three-month period of time. Does that mean that they can only run a business in the United States on E2 status for three months before they have to extend or renew? The answer is no, because upon each entry, you get two years of status. However, if you leave the United States, after the expiration of your E2 visa, then you will have to make arrangements to renew it before you can come back into the United States in E2 status. Now, I know this is a little bit confusing, but hopefully that explanation makes some sense. Thank you for your time and enjoy the video.